guys, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on this video and I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So today I don't have a concrete plan. I just want to play around with some makeup and I really want to try and do a look with a bold red lip. I've got two colours in mind. So I've got this one here which is a wearable red lip. So it's more of like a brownie red. So this is the NYX Lip Lingerie in number 12 exotic and then I've got the Colourpop Ultra Satin I think lipstick and this one's in Lost so if you compare those two together this is a lot more red. Let's get on to the video. As usual I'm going to start off with my eyes and today I'm going to use a new primer. I recently got this one. It's the Rimmel Magnifies Eye Primer and it says it intensifies eyeshadow crease, smudge, and transfer proof. So I'm going to be testing that out. I have to use eye primer or else my eyes will crease very easily because I've got hooded ones. So I'm going to test this one out and hopefully it does the job. Alright, so this one is just, this one's a number one, so I'm guessing this is just transparent. There was only, there's only one color. I'm really keen to see if this is a good alternative to the Urban Decay eye primer potion because that's the one that I always use and that's the one that just works for me because it doesn't crease or anything. I have tried some other ones but yeah Urban Decay is the one that does not crease throughout the day on my eye so I'm really interested to see if this one is an alternative. I am going to set it with some translucent powder. This one is the, I should put the lid on back on so you can see. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent and I'm going to use that to set the eye primer. I always set my eye primer because it's just easier for the eyeshadow just to blend out so it doesn't like stick anywhere. So I'm just using patting motions. I'm doing it gently so I don't poke my eye or hurt it. Oh, I'm using the a big tapered brush like this one. This is from BH Cosmetics. I don't know the actual name um, or the number because it came in a set, but they're actually quite good. So before I actually start the eyes, I'm going to prime my face. So the primer that I'm going to use is the Bourjois Blur the Lines Primer. And this one's really good to fill in any of the pores and smooth out any um, lines and... This one's also really good to mattify as well. It's not completely Natalie like a drying mattifying, but it's more like a velvety kind of finish. Now, let's start the eyes. So I've got the Gorgeous Cosmetics palette, custom, sorry, the Gorgeous Cosmetics Custom Eye Palette. Up here, all of this top line, these are all shimmers. Down at the bottom here, at least these three colors, they're all matte. This one has a tiny bit of shimmer, but it's not noticeable. So I'm thinking of using these three colors. I'm gonna start with the lighter one. So this one is True Tour. Right, I'm gonna use that on the ColourPop blending brush. They have two. I think this is the smaller one. So I'm just gonna concentrate that in the crease area. I'm gonna go a little bit higher as well, blend it all out. Just do it a little bit messy. Just wanna pop a little bit of color in there. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush. This one is the BH Cosmetics one. So it's in a set. I'm going to take this this one here. So this one's a deeper brown, as you can tell. Um, it is fudge. Now I'm just going to tap the very tip of it. I'm just going to try and con concentrate in the... in the Dotting it everywhere. I'm going to concentrate it more in the crease, and I'm also going to pop it in the outer corner there. I'm going to tap the outer corner first. So I'm going from the lash line up to the crease. I'm going back and forth just to tap it in, just like that. And then whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to move it into the crease. I'm also going to do some small circular motions. I'm not angling the brush upwards, so I'm not trying to go higher. I'm angling it pretty much a bit, more, a bit down. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. So the reason why I'm going all the way in is because my eyes are a bit far apart so I'm going to try and make the illusion that they're a bit closer together. So I'm just going to blend the colours out together with a bigger blending brush and this one's the MAC 224 one so it's a much bigger one if you compare it to the one that we previously used. It's big. Uh, there's no product on this brush whatsoever so I'm just blending out the edges and I'm trying to blend those two colours together as well so they're nice and seamless. 
that's looking all right so far. I think I want to deepen up the creases a bit more. I'm just going to take this color, which is Jet. I'm going to take a very small brush. So this is the Gorgeous Cosmetics number 18 brush. I think it's called a bullet brush. I'm going to tap off quite a bit of the excess because I don't want that much. And I'm just going to concentrate that in the at the very outer corner. So where both lash lines meet, I'm just going to feather that out a bit. And then I'm going to curve it up into the crease a little bit. So it's going to be like a backward C. So you want to kind of do it, do that. And I'm just doing tiny like back and forth kind of motions. In the middle, I'm also going to feather that in a bit. So I'm just going to grab a medium sized blending brush. So this is the MAC 217 one. And I've got no product on there. I'm just going to blend that all out. So I'm just going to go circular motions. That's pretty much it. And maybe side to side, but only on the lash line here. Alright, so this is how it's looking so far. It is very forgiving and very simple, so I'm liking it. <laughs> Now I'm going to pop a little bit of shimmer on the inner half, so where I haven't put any eyeshadow there. I'm going to, I don't know which one, first off the bat I've got the Astralis Metallics eyeshadows in Guns N' Roses Petals and Pearls Jammin. So these are the two here, so as you can tell one looks um, silver, one looks a bit gold, but they're not straight up silver and not straight up gold. So there's a little bit of something else in there. I think I'm going to use Guns N' Roses petals with my finger because it is a cream one and I found that it works better with your finger because you pick up a lot more. I'm just going to pop it from the inner corner to halfway so where the dark colors start that's where I'm going to stop and I'm not going any further um, than my crease. Look at that. I'm just going to grab a dense concealer brush, if I can find one, not that one. Alright, so I'm just going to take this really, really tiny smudger brush and I'm just going to try and clean up the edges around here, just because it's when you do it with your fingers, it's not completely um, perfect. So I like to go in with a very small brush. All done with the shimmer, I'm just going to go back into the Gorgeous Cosmetics palette. So I'm going to take, I think I'm just going to take Fudge. So I'm just going to take Fudge on a very small blending brush. So I think I'm just going to pop it on with the BH Cosmetics one. And I'm just going to try and blend the shimmer and the eyeshadows together. So I'm just trying to blend the edges together. Last thing I kind of want to do is just line my lash line. So I'm just going to take... I'm going to take a really small angled brush. And this is BH Cosmetics again from the pink set. So I like to use black eyeshadow. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of the black eyeshadow. Tap off some of the excess. I start from the middle, go to the outer corner. And then I do the inner corner down to the middle. And I just tap it. I just tap it. I don't drag it because if you drag it, the eyeshadow will go everywhere. So you just kind of want to tap it first. There we go. As you can see, it does pretty much the, pretty much the exact same effect as a liquid liner, except it's not as harsh, which is kind of what I like. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this eye. I'm just going to line my lid, my lash line, I should say. Alright, so that's the eyes pretty much done. I'm just going to clean up underneath. So I'm just going to use a cotton ball and some makeup remover. So the makeup remover I'm using is the L'Oreal Micellar Water in Normal Decombination Skin. So the eyes are pretty much done. I will get back to it once, you know, I put the concealer on. Once I put my base on, I'll come back to them. I'm going to move on to foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. 
in 120 vanilla. Got a big dollop on my hand and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And I'm going to use the flat side and I'm going to pop it all over my face. Now I've got some imperfections. If they peek through, I'm so not mad at that at all. All right, so I'm gonna I'm moving it down my neck and I'm just dragging it, so there's not too much coverage. Just uh, huh. So foundation is done, I'm going to move on to concealer now and I'm going to I'm going to move on to concealer and the concealer I'm going to use is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to use Light Sand. The oh so famous Shape Tape is a really good concealer. It does, you do have to work a little bit quick, quicker than other concealers um, but in saying that it is quite good. So I'm just going to go underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, my chin, and then around my jaws here a little bit. And I'm just going to use my Real Technique sponge and I'm going to use the pointier side. I always try and get in here because that's the darkest area. All right, I'm going to quickly set that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I'm actually going to use my sponge. So I'm going to use, not the side that we use with the concealer, I'm going to flip it. So I'm just going to rub it up in there. I'm going to use the side that we used, that we blended out the concealer with. I'm going to blend the concealer out first. Switch sides and set the um, concealer. Now I'm going to set my whole face with the same powder, but I'm going to use a powder brush. And I'm just going to, I'm with the problem areas, so where my pimples are and everything, I'm going to pat the, product, the powder in first, so it doesn't move. I do put some powder down my neck, so... The foundation that we put down there doesn't move or crease or you know anything like that. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my god, does it? Does anybody watch Brooklyn Nine Nine? That show is awesome. I really love it. I love it so much. I keep catching myself saying cool, 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 cool. cool. All right, so I'm going to go underneath my eyes now, so my lower lash line. So I'm going to use Fudge and Jet. I'm mixing them together. So I'm using these two colors and I'm using the Gorgeous Cosmetics bullet brush. So I'm tapping off quite a bit of the excess because I don't want to go too deep first. I want to build it up more. And I'm going from the outer corner to around about halfway. I'm going to tap it on first and so I actually have some color. And then I'm going to go side to side to try and blend it out a bit. Now I'm also going to grab a blending brush. So I'm going to grab the really small one with no product whatsoever. And I'm just going to blend it out just a little bit more. So it's not like big dark line underneath there. So I'm just going to look up and go small side to side motions. And then I'm going to do one big sweep. There we go. So that is done. So I'm going to grab a nude eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Scandalized 24 hour waterproof coal eyeliner. So I'm just going to pop that in my waterline just to open up my eyes a bit more. I'm just going to put some, pot some, pot. I'm going to put some mascara on. So the mascara I'm going to use is the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. This is a really good one because it does coat every single lash. It gives a little bit of volume, a little bit of length as well. Okay, so I'm going to move onto my face. Actually, no. I'm going to jump off of camera and do my eyebrows because they will take forever. 
and I can do it just a separate video with it. Righto, I'm back and here are my brows. So I'm just going to, I'm going to bronze up with the Rimmel Maxi Bronzer in number two medium. So that's what it looks like. I only use these two colors. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Bold Gold Collection powder brush. I'm going to use this one. I think it's Bold Gold Collection. I don't know. So I'm just going to swirl it in here and I'm just using one side. And I'm going to tap off quite a bit of the excess actually. And then I'm just going to concentrate it in here in circular motions on my temples and then underneath my jaw and chin area. Oh, and also down my neck. All right, so I'm going to tap it down first ever so lightly and then I'm just gonna go I'm gonna tap it and you know side to side pop the color in my temples here first and then move it closer towards my um the center of my forehead and then I'm gonna go circular motions and then underneath my jaw here and my chin grab a little bit more product and then I'm just gonna go up and down on my neck all right, so with the nose, I'm going to take that 224 brush from MAC, so a big blending brush, and then I'm going to take that cool tone shade here. And I'm only going to take a little bit, tap off most of the excess, and then I'm just going to go down the sides of my nose and then my tip. And then whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to move it up towards my eyebrows. I'm not trying to completely like contour it so it's like really snatched. Does anyone say snatched anymore? I don't know. But really nice and petite. I'm just trying to more so bronze it up and make it just, just a little bit smaller. And then I just went across my nose with whatever is left on my brush um, closer to my tip so it, it's not just this big sausage. Alright, so I'm going to move on to blush. And this is the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 Color Palette. So I'm going to... They don't have any um, names. So these two colors, the pinkier one and the corally one. Yeah. So I'm just going to mix those two together. And I'm actually going to use an angled brush. So I'm going to use this one. This one is, from, is a L'Oreal brush. Um, they have come out with some new brushes. This was a you know bonus one because I got something of L'Oreal. So I'm just going to mesh these two colors together. Tap off some of the excess and I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna pop it on the apples on my cheeks and then blend it a bit upwards towards my temples. That is my blush done. It is a nice neutral kind of one. All right, I'm going to move on to highlighter and the highlighter I will be using is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Malted Golden. It is a really, really nice one. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush for it. Don't want to put too much on there because I did this once. I popped a bit too much on there and it was quite golden. All right, I'm going to go on my cupid's bow as well. Just a little bit, not too much. Underneath my lip. Then I'm just going to take a smaller brush. So I'm going to get a teeny tiny little one. And I'm going to pop it in the inner corners of my eye. Oopsies. All right, so I'm just going to go in the inner corners here. And then I'm going to pop it underneath my brow bone there. There we go. I'm going to pop on some lashes. I'm actually going to use the Ardell Demis, the 120 Demis. So I'm going to pop them on off of camera. There we go, and done. Now, I forgot to tell you what lash glue I used. So I used the Duo Lash Glue. I really like how this has turned out. It's very simple. I like to say it's very simple, very doable. Like. Anyways, let's get on to the lips. So I think I'm actually going to use this one, the more wearable one. Oh, actually, before that, I'm going to line my um, waterline with black eyeliner. This is the model's own black eyeliner in black onyx. So I'm going to line my lips with red liner, and this is from model's own. Um, it is the Line and Divine Lip Liner in Burgundy. I 
think I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna go with the ColourPop one, so in Lost. It's a really, really pretty one. The Odofa applicator, I don't know what they did, but it's not like a normal one. It's very fluffy, and I don't like that. The color's really good, and it actually is extremely similar to the lip liner that I used. Mmm. Yes, I love it. I love it. God, I love a red lip. Last but not least, actually, I'm going to put my finger in my mouth. And I'm not going to, like, chomp on it. But I'm going to press my lips together and then pull my finger out. And that should um, get the room, so the inner room of my lips there. It'll get rid of all that lipstick. So it helps with not getting lipstick on your teeth. So all of that would have been on my teeth. Maybe not now, but later on. Oh, jeez. So I'm just going to put some setting spray on my face and I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Just gonna, it's not a very good smell. I don't like the smell. I don't like the smell of the All Nighter one. I mean, the D-Slick, that's all right. But this one. It's a little bit more intense. I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. So there we go, guys. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yes, I really need to go to dancing suit. No, I don't have anything on my teeth. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. See you later.